Hello, Sarah. Hello, Linda. Are you going to show me a casserole? I am, yes. This is very exciting. So what we do is we get a nice hot casserole it's dish. It's a brilliant dish, yes. Yes. Put in a little bit of lard. Yes. You can use other oils, but, but it's uh, nice. Yes. It's pure. Yeah. And yeah. So you get it nice and uh, almost smoking hot. Yeah. And then we're going to fry off a few pieces of meat at a time. Now tell me what cut. Now this is quite a reasonable cut of meat. It is. It? It's it's very good value for money. This it's um, shin beef. Yeah. And. My butcher, I have to ask for it specially because generally he minces it up and puts it in with the mince. It's a very good value. It, it, it's quite slow cooking. And you were saying your son's got a slow cook pot. Yes, 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 they both have. And they, they, they make it ready the night before. So the next morning on the way out to work, they just switch it on. And when they come back from work, it's there good and ready. We'll just put a few bits of this meat in now. Right. Just do a few bits at a time. Yeah. Okay. What you want is to get it nice and brown around the edges. Shall I do an onion for you? Yes, feel free to chop an onion for me. Now, you're a farmer, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am, yes. And your farm is Red Tractor Assured? Yes, it is, yes. It's, it's, it's very good um, being Red Tractor Assured because it's a mark of quality. It's in every farmer's benefit to be farm assured. And how long have you been a lady and beef champion? Um, for about a year now. Oh, right. Yes, yeah. And did you go to the launch? Yes, I did, yes. And meet Princess Anne? Presumably. Yes, met Princess Anne. She was lovely. She's very, very natural and she, she knew what she was talking about when it came to, to farming. You've got a herd, um, yeah. Belgian Blue Cross is mine, Anne. Belgian Blue Cross. Yes, right. yes. We buy in the store cattle, which are our young animals, and then we, we take them on and fatten them through with grazing them in the summer. Brilliant. Yeah. This is a fantastic family casserole mm -hmm. with lots of perhaps lovely chunky bread or mashed yes, potato yes, or, yeah. and it's not it doesn't cost a lot of money no. I mean, it's fantastic yeah, value isn't yeah. it the thing with this recipe is to let it cook for long enough when it's, it's in the oven cooking because um, it might look quite fibrous to you but those little fibers they all break down and become as tender and they add to the flavor of the whole casserole so how long do you leave it in the oven then? I would say at least three hours. Right, at about yeah. 170 degrees oh, I right. leave it out. Yeah. Your farm is, is it, it's by the sea, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's right on the very west coast of Cumbria. So we're just down from the Lake District. Right. Yeah. Do you want to put those in? Yeah. Just go through how important mm -hmm. um, farming and cattle and grazing is mm -hmm. for, for the environment. Well, it's, it's very important because um, cattle pulling at the, the grass, um, it, it encourages the grass sward to, to grow again. And where, where they, the cattle have trod and, and eaten and grazed down grass to different levels, it, it encourages little um, like microenvironments for all sorts of other animals to, to, to live and to flourish. There's lots of areas of the country where, where you can't you know, grow grain or anything, and so cattle are absolutely ideal for that. Then we're going to add probably a couple of tablespoons of flour. A pinch of salt. Some black pepper. I'm going to give this a good stir to get the flour yeah. all the way through the meat and the vegetables. Okay. And what would you serve this with? Um, generally, uh, good old-fashioned mashed potatoes. Yes. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Or dumplings with it. All right, so now we're going to add in the stock. It's great that supermarkets are much more conscious, aren't they, of their mm -hmm. butchers and their cuts of meat and mm -hmm. especially British beef and Red Tractor Assured mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. But um, I always try to say to people, I've got a butcher in Muswell Hill in London where I mm -hmm. am, and I always like to support my butcher. Yes, um, yes. If I can. Uh, yes, because very often your local butcher sells local meat. Yes. And uh, you can probably tell you the very farm that it came from. Right, so it's just coming up to the bowl now, so we'll add in a bay leaf Lovely. and a little bit of thyme. So that's just about boiling now. Right. So we're ready to put it on, put the lid onto it, and then put it into the oven. Right. Let's do that. Lovely. And we'll go and get drunk then. Yes. Good idea. <laughs> shall I do the honours? Yes, you shall. Uh, oh, very kind. <laughs> uh, will you shut the oven for I me? I will. Thank you. Gosh. A moment of truth. Oh, look at that.